Hello everybody and welcome to day six of Rimworld Nidite Lane. Although we've only passed four days since we arrived and it's the seventh of summer. But I think if my calculations are right, this is day six here. Um, we're no longer live broadcasting, so hopefully that will improve the, uh, the video and audio quality a little. Um, anyway, let's get on and see what happens. I'm just thinking actually, do you know? We could probably take that down a bit, couldn't we? Um, and if we were to get this structure built, get the wall built, we could start actually thinking about moving people down. How's Wizard doing? Wizard's meandering out in the marshes, but at least he's not dreadfully far away. Alright, I guess I'm getting on with building this wall. So, now that we've got one gun built, and one gun really makes all of the difference, particularly at this sort of early stage, uh, I think we can we can just focus on making this a nice room for us to stay in so that we don't end up going insane about living in an awful place. Um, got Boris focused on researching all the things he needs to make himself a research lab here. And generally I think things are coming along all right. Now if I can just get this one and that corner one done, then I can get the wall started out here. Yeah. And um, maybe we should like get a bit of floor smoothing done as well. How's me getting on? Cool. That rat meat, it will decompose. There's not much we can do about it. We can't do anything with, with like two little bundles of rat meat like that. Be nice to get that medicine indoors. Oh, wizard's no longer confused. Are you coming in, wizard? We could really do with finding a way of keeping him indoors. Yeah, focusing him. He's an artist, and maybe if we were to build him, you know, an artist desk somewhere up here, somewhere well away from the doors, that mightn't be a bad idea. Just to stop him from wondering. So if he goes on a bemused wonder uh, or a confused wonder, it'll um, it'll maybe stop him from wondering too far. No food? I don't think we are. We're doing alright for food, actually. Uh, we could maybe do with harvesting some more berries. In fact, just generally cutting the plants around here would probably be a good thing. So let's do that. Get the plants out of the way of, uh, of our main work area. We've got an unowned bed, so we don't need that, do we? Really pleased with our muffalo. Oh, what's Mia doing? Is he training the muffalo? Oh, he's got some milk! Oh, amazing. Can we do something with milk? Uh, animal products. Milk. Cool. I wonder if milk alone will do, or whether we need milk and something else. 
Oh no, it looks like we can. So we can make fine meals out of milk and berries or something, milk and rice or something. Hmm, that's good. So at the moment we've got quite a number of meals, so I don't think we need to worry. Let's get a little bit more of this wall put, put in. And Apple, if you could take those components away, that'd be really handy. Apple, can you haul those? then I can start moving these beds you see um, probably a good idea to keep us a little bit apart from each other Now, how are our animals doing? They're not starving, are they? Just make sure that, yeah, they're fine. Well, they've got the berries. Just that we're a little bit low on berries. Oh, but we've got plenty of rice. In fact, with that haul of rice in, it might be time to start growing strawberries. The thing about strawberries is, I mean, rice we get a better haul from but with strawberries if for any reason anybody ends up eating raw food if we haven't got anything cooked then strawberries uh, every, nobody minds eating strawberries raw strawberries are fine raw To bring that wall down so one two three four five six seven so we need a support wall here uh, we'll probably be all right if it ends up a little over should we just see how many beds we end up with so if we were to reinstall that there mine out so if we get that wall built along here we can mine out along here let's get that bit of wall built there and nobody had better move my bed until I finish sleeping Ah, brilliant. Thanks, Nordic. Alright, so now that you're mining there and um, we've got this support wall in, I think we should think about coming a bit further down. 
we were to go to there let's see we'll have a support wall in here anyway so we'll surround that with walling I don't know how far up we'll come yet and I tell you what let's get a let's get an artist bench in for a wizard give him something to do um yeah we probably should put it that way around uh oh um we've just been told we've got a raid coming in a group of pirates from the knuckle dusted donkeys okay well we were preparing for this we knew we'd get one and they're preparing for a while so let's just make sure that we have everybody close so that nobody's wandering out and about and in fact we will get uh, Mia and Wizard we'll get you two safe uh, we'll get the doors closed Um, Melon, just draft you. Can you come through and then come through? Let's see, have we got any other doors left open? No, I don't think so. Okay, you can be undrafted for the moment. some more of these floors mm, could you work on the top one thank you very much Nordic Now there is only one guy, um, so we could actually think about maybe going and getting him. Um, who's got a sniper rifle? Oh, wizard's wandering in a mental confusion again. Uh, Callum, you've got a sniper rifle. What about we take... Okay, they're coming. Well, he's coming. Right, he's dead. So... Uh, first of all let's undraft you we shall unforbid him he's naked anyway we'll have that club though uh, Apple can you hmm actually we're gonna need to dig a grave aren't we let's get that done do it down there maybe uh, me Oh, of course. Um, get everybody else but Mia and Wizard stay close. And then me, I can work on that grave. At least everybody's been working on uh, the base. Maybe our medical beds we could put up here. Oh, wizard's confused again. Okay, so did someone bring in the body? I guess so. 
Who's that then? Ah, uh, Almond. Well done, Almond. Get these chunks of rock out of the way. Uh, Anubis, that's a medical bed. Eddie, Eki, that's a medical bed. You wouldn't mind going and finding another bed to sleep in? Now, the only concern now is that because like the pirates raided us and we've killed one of them and I can't imagine that's that will go down too well. Uh, basic fuses. Let's get some fuses because we'll need to start building electricity next. And yeah, we we really should think about the consequences and make sure that we're prepared for retaliation. Um, it would be really good to have a dining table. And I think we're just about ready now. Put a dining table there. And some chairs. wall to go there. Oh, a superior table. Very nice. Normal chair. Another normal chair. ends uh, day six of Nidite Lane and yeah well I'm pleased we've got our dining table in place we haven't quite finished building it but um, we've got the beds moved and the dining table built so that we no longer have to eat on the floor and that's really going to help people's moods um, it'd be good to get the art table built just so that we can keep wizard busy but I think our goal for tomorrow should be to start building some power. And here would seem like a good place to start building power. We'll need to put like a wall in and stuff. Um, we've got at least up until we hit the marshes here. Yeah, there's no real restriction on where we go. And we do have this geotherm that we might want to build out too, so maybe we should make sure we build at least that far. Yeah, okay. Well, do join us tomorrow for more fun at Nidite Lane. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. There were four of them, all houses, together. In Nidite Lane, together live Boris and Anubis. Anubis is always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic, and Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy, cause Apple and Melon always had domestics. But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in because Power suit Sal kept me in the closet. They all live together in Nidite Lane. A colourful place to be. They all live 
together on the night lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. At Boris's and Anubis's, there was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, cause it was Anubis's Canadian cousin, drunk Spider-Man, and a little sad as helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, they just hand them on to the next surrogate parents. They all live together in Midnight Lane. A colorful place to be. We all live together on Midnight Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. It seems they pissed off the neighbors. Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children. But that's just Boris. No one questions him. Because that's what happens in Midnight Lane.